Hi guys, Mr. Feedy here, here, and in today's video, I want to provide you my latest wish list for Titanfall 3. Now, this wish list is just things that I would love to see be introduced into Titanfall 3. And whether Titanfall 3 is in development at the moment, or whether it's not going to be in development for quite a while, these are just ideas that I would love to get out and also hear from everybody else's opinions. Now, in terms of what I would love to see introduced into Time for free is quite a variety of different ideas. Some being small, some being really big. And like I said, I want to hear from you guys as well in the comment section of what you would like to be introduced in Time for free and how you would like it to be introduced. So, would you prefer to be introduced as paid DLC? Do you want it to be introduced as free DLC? Or do you want it to be, or do you want to have like certain challenges added into them so that you know you get all this content, it's ready in game? But you have to work for it. So, like anyways, let's start with video. So the first thing I'd like to see be introduced in Titan for Free is Quiet Doodle. I'd like to see more new Titans and more new pilots introduced into the game. Now, at the current moment we have a good selection, and I quite understand that Respawn probably set the selection for Titans and Pilots because it's quite easier to balance them out. Now there are quite a few games, like for example like LoL, where you have a ton of characters with a ton of abilities and that slightly makes it a bit harder to adjust them so they fit into the game properly and you don't want to make a certain character too powerful or too weak because by doing so you have the risk of making the community even more angrier than what they currently are. So what I would like to see in Titanfall 3 is more new Titans and more new classes but not in a whole bunch but I would like to see them be introduced every say every three months in a way one new class and one new titan every three months this way then it keeps the game fresh and this way then it gives players something new to play around with and mess around with and there's probably a ton of ideas they can go with they can probably make a close quarter pilot and titan or maybe they can make a another long range on or maybe they can make another long range slash close range titan slash pilot. There's quite a ton of ideas they can go with. And honestly I would love to see some more creative titans and more creative pilot classes. Now the next thing I'd like to see introduced in Titanfall 3 is probably more weapon customizations. Now I'd like to see more weapons be introduced in the game. But at the current moment I don't really see that be introduced in Titanfall 2. Now there might be a chance they may introduce some new ones along the line later on but we're gonna have to wait and see for that so in case for that I'd like to see some more new weapons in Titanfall 3 and I'd like to see some old and more futuristic weapons because this is all based in kind of like space and you should expect to see some new like some new unique and quite odd but also at the same time quite sleek design weapons so I'm talking about maybe a old battered up shotgun that's a two battled or maybe they could do a futuristic laser that does a ton of damage so think of it like the L star but instead of it shooting like small balls of energy it'd be shooting a straight beam energy and these are things I would love to be introduced into the game but at the same time they're gonna have to kind of balance it out so that they don't feel too powerful because like time for two we have a lot of good weapons but not a lot of the weapons are currently overly used. Only a few people will use a select amount of weapons. Because most weapons give you an advantage over another. So you have to balance it out in a way so that it fits in perfectly. And players can actually switch to it without feeling left out or at a disadvantage. At the same time, I'd like to see them add in more perks as well. The perk selection we've got in the game currently is quite terrible. I'd probably say Titanfall 1 had a bit more perk variety compared to Titanfall 2 and I'm hoping that in Titanfall 3 they'll introduce some more old ones and new ones into the game that kind of changes the way some weapons act. So like the Crabber, now I believe there was a amped up version of the Crabber in Titanfall 1 and that changed up the weapon completely instead of making it a you know one that has a red dot sight onto it, it actually shot explosive rounds. That completely changed the weapon up completely, and I don't know if that did a bit extra damage on the Titans and such, but for that not to be introduced in Titanfall 2 was kind of sad and shocking at the same time. So for them to go ahead and do something like this in Titanfall 3 would be quite amazing. 
and maybe they can make it so that it limits down the weapon so that for example if you add on a perk that gives you um, extra sight or extra damage it would basically increase your recoil by tenfolds but at the same time it's bringing you something completely new and it's also allowing you to play with different weapons and different varieties there so whether they introduce new weapons or whether they introduce just more perks it depends but honestly either one of the two would be absolutely great now another thing I'd like to see and something that a lot of people have been talking about since the release of Titanfall 2 is more pilot customizations now the thing with pilot customization is that I believe they they've designed the pilots so that they're one whole figure instead of separating them so instead of separating the helmet and the body parts into individual parts I think they designed the model as one whole that way then it's kind of just you know easy to import copy and paste and give it some bones and give it a motive and such there and then and right there is less time for them so I think that's kind of the case is why they're not allowing us to have prime skins but I could be completely wrong I only did a bit of game development for maybe like a year best so my knowledge is quite limited so the one thing I would like to see be introduced into time for free though is the ability to customize your pilot fully I want the ability to go in there with a different unique helmet and a different kind of design for our body and go in there and just you know look great but have fun because I love design of most of the pilot suits in game and helmets as well you can go anywhere with the helmets because the helmets are quite unique they're more different compared to most of your standard sci-fi helmets for example like Halo so I thought that maybe they can go mad with this and allow us more options to design it and then maybe they can also introduce you know kind of bundle packs or certain small packs or even in-game challenges where you can unlock more new suits and more new helmets something similar to how Warframe does it where I say around each day or so around certain hours you have a chance to unlock a new helmet and you have to go off and do this mission before the certain time limit and if you do it you can then use the blueprint and if you've got the resources you can go ahead and create it maybe they can go ahead and do that but not every day but maybe every once a month or so they can switch through the helmets or switch through the skins and make it so that oh go off and complete mission X on story mode or go off and use this pistol for X amount of times without dying and then once you've unlocked it that's yours forever and at the same time I would like to see some more challenges introduced in the game considering that time for one had quite a variety of challenges the fact that time for two only has a few challenges is quite sad and shocking as well and I would love to see some more challenges to basically engage the community to do more things because at the moment, there are challenges that most people can actually do and create, but I'd like to see what Respawn could actually come up with, and what kind of wacky and new ideas, because, for example, if there's a challenge they introduce that's absolutely, completely wacky and crazy, maybe the community will take this very heavily and enjoy it, and then, at this point here, we can give more suggestions of types of different types of customizations they can go with, different types of challenges and, and such, they can go anywhere with this. But personally this is more down to how much time, how much people and how much resources they have available. Because if they don't have any of these things I just stated, there's not a high chance that they'll be able to implement this anytime soon. So they have to kind of start it early within the project and then if it works out fine, then maybe they might get a bit more funding. To go ahead and you know add more things in if they can't then potentially they can't add it in whatsoever another thing i'd like to see introduced in title 3 is more original and unique maps now don't go wrong i do enjoy time for one maps introducing title 2 maps however i haven't seen well generally i don't think anyone's seen any new original large scale title 2 maps since the glitch now we do receive original title 2 maps but those are more for live fire and not a lot of people play live fire now i want to see some more original type for two maps and i'm talking the more larger scale i want to see more wide scale maps that are kind of fitted into type for two but at the moment for type for two that's not really happening and for whatever reason 
is kind of bad because I feel like I purchased this game only for remakes. So what I'm hoping is that in Titanfall 3 they learn their lesson from this and they create original maps, original large scale maps for Titanfall 3 and it fits around say parts of the campaign or parts of the world or part of the frontier at best and maybe they can introduce you know the old Titanfall 1 and Titanfall 2 maps as you know monthly DLC free passes that way then they can keep with the new maps but also every so often like every month or two they can release new Titanfall 1 and new Titanfall 2 maps into the game so that players that never got the chance to play Titanfall 1 or Titanfall 2 maps can play again. Now one of my other ideas that I had was potentially create a hub world and this was an idea that Respawn did mention before however a hub world is more linking into a RPG type game and I'm not, I'm not sure if Titanfall 3 is going to be a RPG slash shooter type game. Now if they are going to go ahead and do a, a RPG type game it's probably going to follow the example how Destiny does it where you have a let's say a loading area that you can explore you can purchase weapons that are the same but you have like unique mods and attachments and such and you can go off there and you can go meet your buddies or join someone join matches or do missions and such and depending on how Titanfall 3 is designed I wouldn't exactly mind seeing that however at the same time it's quite hard and risky for them to go ahead and do that because that's kind of territory that they haven't exactly done before. Now the campaign for Titanfall 2 was amazing and the multiplayer for Titanfall 1 was amazing and then they introduced this all into one for Titanfall 2 and I'm exactly happy to purchase. Now if they were going to do that with Titanfall 3 we don't exactly know how well they'll be able to execute it. Now I have faith they'll be able to do it but I kind of want them to stick to the same similar formula that we currently have. Just keep everything basic. Like yes, I would love to see a hub world introduced, but sometimes I feel like the hub world will just be useless in a way. Like we don't really need it whatsoever. So I think currently at the moment, just keep it how it is. And another idea I would like to see introduced in the game, and it's something that a lot of players would probably like as well, is more gauntlet maps. Now a lot of people in the community love playing the gauntlet. But the only problem with the corner that we have now in Type 2 is that it's limited to one map. And people can go over it over and over and over again, trying to beat their own score by one second. And a lot of people enjoy this type of stuff. And I enjoy it, even though I'm quite terrible at moving around the game. But I'd love to see more new maps based on this. And maybe they can design it so that we, the people of the community, can actually build upon it. So that we can customize it and you know, release them for whenever. Think of it like Time Splitters. Now I don't know if many of you actually remember Time Splitters, but Time Splitters was one of the best shoot 'em up games I've ever played and I really do miss it. But think of it like Time Splitters where you had the map creator and you could create your own maps in a similar style and you can then upload it for others to go ahead and play with. If they can do something similar to that and introduce it in Type 3, I think I think Respawn would have something really going for them and they could probably release a whole DLC pack just based on the best community made maps for people all for free. And lastly the one thing I would like to see that I don't see a lot of people actually mention about is more focus on community. Now we do get community news every once a month where it shows the latest patches, the latest notes, what respawn devs are doing and you know a few say pictures and videos of what community members have done but I want to see them be a bit more extensive with this. I want them to improve on this a bit more by providing more community focus. I want to see you know people that do all this amazing work. I want to see like interviews of why they do it, how they did it and what made them do it. I want to see more focus on actual YouTubers from big to small people who create creative and very funny content and I'd like to just see more people get involved and see and give their opinions on what they would like to see next. Now best example for this is to follow Destiny. Now when Destiny does it they release a kind of a brief note I believe it's every every once a month around Thursday to Friday 
where they tell you what's basically going to be happening, what they're currently doing, what's going to be released, and then they do Community Corner, where they focus on a, a slight interview for a person of the community, either well known or not. And they go into full depth of different types of players. They go into full depth of the people they're going with. So they always go with the same person, they go with different people within the community. And they also go into like these creative corners where they showed people's arts and really nice videos. And I thought maybe if Respawn does something like this, I think more people will be interested in to this game. And they release it onto certain social media networks such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I think here Respawn will probably get more followers and more fans introduced into the series. Something I would love to see more happen. Like we do have a good juicy number of players but I would love to see some more people introducing the game. Because then it really does make me wonder what would happen if Respawn gets an X amount of number of people. Do they you know, go back on the project again and release more new content or is it just a same formula where they're like okay we get more new players okay we just keep it flowing we just bring up more good news and such or would they be provided more budget for the next installment who knows so that is the end of the video i do hope you enjoyed it if you did then leave a like a comment and subscribe for more if you didn't then by all means leave a dislike i understand and i know what to do in the nearby future so once again guys thank you all for watching do let me hear in the comment section about what you would like to see introduced in time for free and I do hope to see you again soon.